Greetings. So it's just a quick little message, y'all. I'm not gonna talk too much, hopefully not. <laughs> but greetings. So I appreciate y'all for the feedback, whether it was under the comment sections of the reading or just personal the feedback in regards to um, just being ready and being prepared for something, some sort of event. And it doesn't matter whether it's something because some of you guys might be like, oh, this isn't a big deal, especially if it's just like some party, some social event that, you know, family and friends are gathered at. For some of you, it could be a job, job opportunity. Some of you guys, it could be a date with someone that you're going to spend the rest of your life with. For some of you, it could be a meeting. It could be, I don't know, it could be going to the White House. Like, you never know, like, where especially if you feel like I really get this you know whether we feel like we're spiritually in tune enough or um to a certain degree where we might miss things or we don't understand everything I do believe that you know our subconscious will like signal things to us where we might be like well how would I know that this type of situation is going to come about like what type of attire I should be prepared to wear but I do believe like if something is standing out to you in some way or you feel like, oh, I don't know why I'm being called to buy a suit. There's a reason for that. Or why am I being called to wear heels? I don't even wear heels like that or something. You know what I mean? Oh, you hear that train? The train is very loud here. But that might be a confirmation for some of y'all. Like travels involved. Something's coming. I'm just for those of you that resonate, you get it. And um, one of the ladies, <laughs> she says she's going to the Beyonce concert. Yeah, you're having fun. You're going to a concert, but you don't know who you can meet. Like, you don't know what I'm, you know what I mean? What that person is going to bring into your life or just connecting with certain people will bring. It could be, you know, networking. It could be anything. It doesn't have to just be about love. And I had just thought about this um, message that I was getting in one of my videos on my other channel a cinderella story or your cinder your cinderella story um i was getting this message about her her dress and how it relates to our identity and so you know how we dress up when we wear clothes clothes are usually an expression of our moods expression of our personality um an expression of just what we want to, sh you know, show to the world sometimes. So it's all bottled into a level of identity or a label of identity. And in that message, Spirit kind of helped me put it this way. But you know how in Cinderella, when she first had the pink dress that her and her little animal friends created together with the, the leftover um, fabrics from her stepsisters, and she created this it was cute you know but it wasn't ball worthy right it wasn't that dress you know what i'm saying so she had on the dress and you know through how the the scene went they tore everything off at first they were like All right, isn't that my pearls isn't this isn't that stuff that they didn't even want so she's crying and thinking that oh shit i can't go to the ball like but they were so jealous of the fact that she was able to take scrap something that they didn't even want and making it and turning it into something and that dress like I said it wasn't even ball worthy like it was like some little cocktail party go to it wasn't it wasn't extravagant enough right and they were jealous off of that so sometimes you got to remember we look at ourselves and go oh my gosh like oh I only have this I can't afford a Chanel this Chanel that or whatever I can only afford something from Target or whatever and you think that that's what makes you <laughs> there's people that have luxury clothing high fashion high-end designer clothes and still look like just look ratchet just look ghetto or just you don't see there's not they're not wearing you know they're not wearing it their essence is not showing it's just like a gown like oh it's Versace okay cool but some people can put on something 
from Target, put on a cute little summer dress and look like something and people is just like in awe. And then you might have some people that's jealous. So it's not about what you show up with, it's how you show up. And this is going back to the identity thing again. And where the fairy godmother steps in and created this dress that doesn't even exist. No one, no designer created that dress. There's no no other woman that will be at the ball wearing that dress guaranteed because it was divinely created just for Cinderella. And you're, there's no one that can duplicate you. No one can show up as you. So that's another thing. It's not about necessarily getting dressed and getting ready, getting pretty, getting handsome. But it's about the way that you carry your energy and you never know who you're going to meet you never know who's around you never know who's watching you so you have to carry yourself authentically of course but carry yourself like you care about yourself you care about your your reputation you care about your presentation as a person not just physically okay not just aesthetically and so same thing with cinderella's glass slipper no one else that shoe was just tailor fit for her and yeah she could be a size eight in the in you know u.s shoes or whatever any size whatever woman's shoes she could be a size eight in heels but no one else with a size eight could fit it it was like it was perfectly curved for her shaped the width of her foot like no one else could fit that shoe and again that's another metaphor that no one else is you no one can walk in your shoes no one can show up as you you have to have that confidence to walk in your own energy and i do believe that when cinderella showed up to that ball and how everybody was like staring at her and the prince was like dropped everything and just didn't care about any other woman in that room it was the essence of what she came in with not so much the fact that she was pretty and how you know her dress was elegant she showed up with a certain type of posture of energy okay and it stood out it stood out okay and it's not about just being pretty it's not just about being handsome or the fact that you got this expensive garment on and this and that and who you know and it's not so much always about that but it's you and all you have is you you have to walk through as they say walk through a room knowing that God sent you you have to walk in that posture everywhere you go and it's not you know especially if you're working on your self-esteem and you're building that back up and some sometimes you may not know the whole value of your worth and your true identity not what the world says or your parents told you you need to be this or women can only be this or men can only be that if you're this race you know you can only achieve so much no we have to eliminate all of those programmings off of our minds and out of our heart as well because the heart is a vessel for pure manifestation and if your heart is not centered right it's not radiating in that healthy in a healthy sense you won't be able to attract the things that are heart-centered soul lit dread driven and led you'll manifest out of fear manifest out of a poverty mindset out of a lack mentality whatever or in a this hustle mentality that you have to just work hard work hard work hard or that you have to compete or fight for scraps or there's not enough to go around or you got to prove something to yourself or to others or to the to your ego not striving in a positive sense but from this place of like the little you that felt like you couldn't have or you weren't good enough you got to prove from that space that's not a heart-centered energy because once you manifest something from that space you're not satisfied you're never going to be satisfied you're on to the next and then you're still trying to find that thing to fill you up rather than manifesting things that are in alignment with the true you that things that will truly align with your joy that you're in a state of gratitude when it comes and when you have it and you'll steward the things that come to you from your heart space and in alignment with you in a healthy state it's a different type of energy so whatever it is that your destiny awaits that spirit's preparing you for don't just focus on the physical okay 
also the energy that you're walking in is a big thing so if you have to work on your self-esteem a little bit um you know and we f the, you know physical appearance also helps us feel good when we feel good phys or we feel like we look good physically it also kind of contributes to your self-esteem you feel more happy you feel more confident to go out in the world so there's i'm not knocking that but make sure that you're you're focusing on the internal parts of yourself and that if you don't know your worth or your value fully you you still question that or you still are comparing yourself to other people or why me you have to work on that and the basis of that is your true divine identity and what makes you you and embracing those parts of yourself that make you you because the more we compare the more we eliminate the parts of ourselves that's unique we don't even see it because we're we're trying to say okay this person looks like this or they have this or the world says this is what's beautiful and this this and that and if you're trying to strive for a certain look you're only going to attract people that are are superficially based and they only associate with people off of superficial means therefore you're not going to be fulfilled in a room full of people like that because that's a room full of people that is insecure they base their worth and value off of material things off of physical their looks and how much money like th that's not the type of people you want to associate with if you want enriching connections you want people that are authentically themselves and embrace other people that are authentically themselves because you're going to find your tribe when you're truly vibing off of your authentic energy like you're gonna vibe with people that are also you know in that state or that resonate with you so anything that does not resonate with you does not vibe with you why why sweat it why why bother you know what i mean don't sell yourself short you guys you're worth way more than what you believe yourself to be if you allow yourself to embrace all parts of yourself not hide yourself and sometimes spirit does protect us from things or people that are not for us that don't even hold the capacity to you know give you what you deserve or, or connect with you in the way that you deserve some people are only available for superficial things and connections and you don't want to be in a space full of miserable people it's like i remember i went to this club and i was like because when i I haven't been to the club in a long time, but I went to this club, right? And it was, it's very popular um, in like the upscale parts of, excuse me, where I'm from. And I used to go out a lot in my like late teens, early twenties, before I had my daughter, I would go out to the club a lot. Part of the reason was because I worked at a club, but it was a different time back then cell phones were just like literally a means just to communicate text phone call it wasn't the selfie era wasn't as big back then um i mean we had myspace mind you we have facebook that was still going on but like when you go out to the club you're not with your phone in your hand recording your bottles at the table you you and your girls with your tongue out and like we didn't have that back then so when I went to this club and I seen that and I sound like I'm old I'm really not but <laughs> when I went to this club I was like ain't nobody really dancing like for fun they're dancing on camera sticking their tongues out bending over showing their bottles acting like they're doing something and no shade to the girl I went out with but I went out with a, a associate like you know so an acquaintance and she was like you know went in the vip section and she was not in the v like she wasn't even like we didn't pay to be in the vip section but she stood over there turned her camera on and was like pretend like she was at the vip section so it's just like <laughs> people some people are not having fun really just to be having fun it's all about what we can capture on camera and we we forget to be in the moment and again I sound like I'm old but really it's just because my generation came in on the era of cell phones and the sidekicks and the blueberries and like that was the era that I came in on but the social media thing the way that it, how big it is now like the selfie era and the uh, going live while you at the bar and at the club like that wasn't what we were doing we were literally like doing the Dougie doing the stanky leg or whatever song was out at the time 
or <laughs> whatever literally having fun and really dancing and enjoying ourselves it was none of that you know what I mean so connections where you actually are and you can still have fun mind you I'm not saying that nowadays people aren't having fun but it's just like so much importance on how we look and look where I'm at look what I'm doing like and I know I've been guilty of this sometimes like we all you know what I mean like society we kind of fall into things but you want to be surrounded by people that see you for you and you see them for them and you you resonate with each other even in your uniqueness and your your uniqueness is embraced by each other and it's not this oh we all got to be wearing the same type of hairstyles and makeup styles and or all the men have to have a certain type of hair uh you know haircut and I only date this type of person is that so superficial that's not living to me I'm sorry um and people resonate with what they resonate with but if you don't resonate with that superficial type of lifestyle where people are they only like you if or but rather than just the uniqueness of who you are then that's not your people and you're going to be miserable trying to compare yourself to what the world says is this and the world says is that because you're living up to someone else's standard not who you were called to be and that's why most people that are so-called weirdos or um different they may have people that don't resonate with them but they seem to be comfortable in their own skin though okay we're all victim of this there's nothing wrong with liking a trend or maybe resonating with something that is trendy but to follow a standard just to fit in or just to feel like you're you're successful or you're going to be attractive or you're going to get more of this and more of that and in some cases some people do have to play the game in order to you know get ahead in life certain job careers and this and this and that um there's a time and the place for professionalism and all of that but to completely just drop your identity or trying to find your identity in society and what the world says and what the media says, what, you know, music is telling you, oh, this is what's attractive and you're being sold a lie. So walk in the room as you. No one else can be you. No one else can do it like you. And you'll forfeit a lot of genuine connections and opportunities by trying to put on something that's not for you you'll block your blessings because what you're destined for what you're meant for what you bring to the table is waiting for you so as long as you're playing like someone else that you're not you know you're trying to look like the ig girl or the guys that look like they're doing this and doing that sleeping with this one and that one and oh all women are this you're blocking your 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 blessings that way Okay, you're blocking your blessings. So I didn't want to make this 18 minutes long, but it is what it is. As always, much love. Take care. Peace.